Okay, folks, we're back. And as I showed you a minute ago, I've got some more mats here which are ready for fettling. Fettling, what's a strange word you use, Simon? What does that mean? <laughs> well, it's just a highfalutin name for uh, basically finishing off. Um, yeah, just finishing off, really. And what I mean by it, I mean really is thumbing off. That's my... That's what I mean by it. So basically, you see, these pots that I've made, these, you saw me making these little small mugs or tankards, they, they, need, to be, they need to be finished off on the, on the foot. And to do that, I, let's bring the camera over here. Dee, 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 dee. So I can try to show you this in a bit of detail. Um, if you can do this and learn how to do this, it will save you a great deal of time. Um, a lot of people, unfortunately, are taught by their instructors that they should trim everything. That is just really bad teaching, sorry to say, but it is. Um, at least, I think so. Let me just get you something here to show you. And a lot of a lot of a lot of people's problems actually lie in the fact that they don't have a decent throwing stick to start with. So you could argue, well, they can't be blamed for making pots the way they do. Um, Let's see if I can find one of those abominable, abysmal throwing sticks that seem to find their ways, in, ways into potter's toolkits. And get them off to a bad start at the word go. Let me see. Hang on a second, I've, I've got a couple here, but I want to show you, I've got some others, you see. Somewhere. Somewhere. Never mind. Let's not waste the battery. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, you see. Now here, are we in the picture? Here's an example of not a very good throwing stick because two reasons, all right? And a lot of throwing sticks are like this. Or they could be like this, which is more like some sort of um, Amazonian dart. Uh, I suppose it could, might have its uses. It's rather too pointed, you see. The angle here, is it should be like that you see you see you see that you see the difference of the angle at the top now it, that, you might think that that's a small thing but it, in fact it makes it does it can make quite a lot of difference i think the other thing is they're very thick you see very very broad here across there much better if it's 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 like that thin because that edge you see, when I'm working the pot on the wheel, that edge it enables me to clean away the slip and the slurry as I'm throwing there, um, which, makes, which makes it then easy to, to lift off the wheel. So, as I say, this is where I think a lot of people's problems originate from, that they're not really taught to finish their pots properly when they throw them. And um, the whole point of the exercise is, that after you've thrown it and you've got all the clay up you want to put a bevel in at the base you must put a bevel in here can you see this pot has got a bevel if you look at all these pots you'll notice that they've they've got bevels you see so that makes it actually now when I come along now 
it makes it very easy for me to um, to to fettle these or thumb them off. So let me just make sure that the board is clean. That's not something very important when you're working. Make sure your boards are, are spotlessly clean. All right. So because these we want to put them upside down like that. Let's make sure that we can. You can all see that. Yeah. Okay. So to do this. Now you can either do this where they where they are, or you can put them on a fresh board. Okay, I'm just going to show you putting them on a fresh board. So you want to have you want to damp your you have a wet sponge or a damp sponge, wet your, and we just thumb around like that. You see, very 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 quick and easy. And next one, you see how simple is that? Okay, and that's it. There's no more. There's no more. Um, there's no more to do with these, except put a handle on them. You see. Now you just see me do that like that. I put them on that board. Well. They're already on a board here, so what you can do is if if you're if you're a bit nifty, you see, you just you just go down the board like this. All right. Now, because of the trouble I took earlier to clean these off, it leaves them very very easy for me to do now. Now, sometimes when there's so many like this, I can't get in and around. That's why it's better to maybe to just space them out a bit and. Um, uh, if you're going to do that, you might as well put them on a fresh board. That's why I just showed you that. But you know, especially important to make sure that the wear boards are clean because if you're putting them face down and it's got hard, crusty bits there, well, you know what that's going to do to the rim of your pot. It's going to it's going to spoil it. So. You see, you just you just go get into a system like this. It's very very quick. You do need some a little bit of dampness in your in your sponge as you, as you work. You see. Now you see how I'm doing these. I'm just I'm pulling them from the left and passing them over to the right. Making sure the book, the board is 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 clean as I go. You know, you see how quickly I've done that uh, without much fuss. Just with the my thumb and a little bit of moisture. No, I wasn't even going to be talking to you about this, actually. But I ended up doing a little talk about that. The thing is, you see, there's always so much to talk about, isn't there? <laughs> I think I did these ones actually earlier on the end. All right, so that's that's what I want to show you there. You see, so they they're done now. You see, they're all done. They're ready now to be handled. Let's let's quickly get over there to to these handles before this battery packs up. If it does pack up, we'll just we'll just we'll just carry on. Uh, next time. So, all right now. If you're going to do handling, get yourself one of these, a banding wheel. Okay, that's absolutely essential that you have a small banding wheel. 
Okay, let's just focus right down there where those handles are. Um, right. And you're going to need a pot of water. There it is. There it is. So we're going to take one of these, these handles. No, one of these mugs. That's not a handle, Simon. What dost thou say? Nonsense. Okay. <laughs> so put the the mug on the wear on the on the wear board. <laughs> on the banging wheel. Right. So these these handles, I pulled them like half an hour ago. Just about. So I, you take take one off the board here. Alright. Actually what I should have showed you is, is first of all the point of attachment where you're going to attach the handle. You're going to attach the handle just there. You see on that little protrusion, that little elbow I told you about, that's where you want to. So scratch with your fingernail like that, you see. Prepare the slip from the clay of the mug itself. Don't add slip from elsewhere. And use your fingernail, don't use anything else. Because that's why you've got fingernails. <laughs> Okay, now use your knuckle. This is another reason this is why you've got knuckles. <laughs> so you can put on handles. Okay, just broaden the, broaden the end of the... Uh, see how I've done that? I've made it wider. I've splayed the end, you see, using my knuckle. Alright, so hold it just below and then use your knuckle like that. Hope you can see that. To make it wide. Because that's what you're going to need to attach. Okay, now, hand behind and apply the handle up to that keyed area. Now you can see, I hope you can see, my index finger, and I'm lifting this up so you can, so you can see this, my index finger is doing its work underneath, you see that? Meanwhile, it's, I'm supporting the handle. My thumb on the top is working as well, you see how that smooths and blends the clay in of the handle into the body of the mug. All right, put it back down on the wheel here. Now take it, in its supporting it, hold it, transfer it to the vertical, dip it, all right, and then pull the handle lightly away from the, from the mug as you see me doing. Now keeping it hanging there like that, you see, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it by the end and we're going to put the mug back to the, the vertical, but we're going to hold that, you see, as, as we do it. You see that? That's very important. Now you've got to judge the size of the handle you want. Okay, don't make him too big so he sticks out and looks like nothing on earth. We don't want that. Okay, so there he is. So what we have to do now is just touch him there and he'll, and he'll stick, you see. Now, with a semi-dry, semi-wet thumb, <laughs> don't, have him, don't have him swimming wet and don't have him bone dry, have him somewhere in between. All right, we're gonna take that clay and we're just going to just gently push it away, you see that? What could be simpler? Well, actually, as as you if you've never tried putting on handles, you they actually they're pretty hard to do, aren't they? Okay, so we've just got that little that little tail there left. What are we going to do with that? We're just going to flick him off like that, you see, and that's it. Now, if possible, don't go back over that and start fiddling with it and making it all what you think is perfect and what probably isn't. Don't overwork it. Just the top of the handle there, I'm just licking my finger and just smoothing that, you see, over like that. Okay? And that's it. Make sure that the handle here is not bent. And there he is. He's ready for the seal to go right there, you see. 
Okay, folks. Well, we've managed to do it. We've managed to get that in. So you saw there thumbing off, and you saw me talking about that and the importance of, of having the right type of throwing stick to do that. And um, I just showed you putting on that handle like that. And now I've got to go on and do the others. But what are you going to do? <laughs> Maybe you've got some handles to finish off or something in your pottery. Anyway, uh, we keep practicing. Please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com, and we've got wheels, leech treadle wheels, we've got tools, different kinds of pottery tools there, and we've also got some workshops. If you're interested in coming on a workshop, then, then let us know or um, check it out anyway. And uh, there's a lot that people could learn actually, I think, to be truthful, I have to say. Um, so, get stuck in, <laughs> keep practicing. There is no substitute for practice, practice, practice. I'm trying to play the guitar at the moment, I'm trying to learn, and uh, it's so true that practicing is absolutely at the, the center of it. You know, you've just got to get to know the strings, the chords, get your fingers used to the, that sensation on the strings. You know, and the more you do it, it, then it becomes second nature, you see, the more you do it. And it's the same with working with clay. And anything really that you know you've got to become really familiar with it until it, it just becomes second nature to you and then you begin to to be able to tap into the flow of creativity and that's when good pots good songs whatever begin to show forth okay we keep practicing bye bye